how's everybody doing? Just cleaning my plate up there, just stopped for some lunch. We are basically picking up from where we left off last time. Um, put the harvester away and went and grabbed the baler and then stopped and had a little lunch. And we're going to get right back into it. I think uh, we're going to harvest or bale this straw. And then I believe we are good to move on to July. I'll double check everything, of course, but yeah, I can't think of anything else we have left to do. All the animals are looking good. All right, let's get lined up here. Had to get that little patch that was on the, uh, the drive in there. I don't know that we're going to need to keep many of these. While I was over there picking up the baler, I seen there's a good few left, and we're going to get a bunch off the, uh, the oats anyway. So if Braden needs any, then he can definitely get some of those. Let me see if I can get this little patch right here, too. Keep the yard looking better. There we go. Yeah, this, this tractor can pull this baler, but it takes just about all it's got. So I think we get started on our first time lapse and get all this straw knocked out. And then uh, I'll get back with you. about gets it right here I believe this last row done get that last big hill all right let's see how many we looking like two four six eight uh, right about ten maybe Yep, no, 11. Eleven, eleven bales, yeah. We'll probably just end up selling those. I know it's not going to be great money right now, but it is what it is. Well, let me take the baler back over here to the, uh, to the cow side of the lake. And then uh, we'll see if there's anything left before we move on to July. So I'll catch you in a little bit. So I did check and the price of straw is on the way down. So we are going to sell this right quick before we rest up and call it a day into July. <clears throat> Let me grab these last two. Yeah, because next month it takes a huge nose dive. We make what we can make off of it, but you know, not gonna be a lot. I think next month 
more than likely we're going to have to do two days worth of videos next month because uh, we got canola we got the oats to harvest pretty good pretty good bit going on next month and I think the sunflowers are the month after that so we had to get that that uh, corn sunflower header header pretty soon and the soybeans I forgot about that what's the current price oh yeah we got to sell those real quick they are at their peak as well <clears throat> so yeah we got to get these two things knocked out right quick cut that off glad I thought about that that was the uh, soybeans was the money I was going to use to get the corn header strap these down and where is paying best for straw the port by a dollar you slide through here because at the end of the field is not really our property so I try to stay off of it Sunflowers are coming up pretty good. Yeah, they're getting there. Oh, barge is pulling in. Wonder if they're dropping off anything that we might want. Might stop by here and, uh, Talk to Norm, see if they got anything on sale. Well, let's get this straw sold first off. I think I can make a, make a couple thousand off of it, maybe. That's right, they have to be taken off the trailer. That is unfortunate. Now give me a second, I'll go get the tractor. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Let's just see if I can just push them off over there. They can pick it up from there, right? Six, sixty-five hundred, almost seven thousand. That'll work. All right, I'm gonna get the tractor back to the farm and bring the truck back, and then we'll load up the uh, load up the soybeans. Give me just a second. All right, let me switch the bed over. And get the uh, dump bed here. Yeah, seven grand. I'm pretty happy with that for the straw. That's not bad. I was looking at the sorghum too since now we have the barley we don't really need it but it's not really uh, worth anything until January well I mean it's worth something but it's not worth selling until January <clears throat> hopefully before then we'll have the uh, flour mill uh, let's see let's get soybeans load it up watch the axle go down on that one I'm hoping we get at least I think 11,000 is the uh, the price of the, the corn header that I need we'll check like I said we'll check with the uh, norm when we get up here and where are we going with this Soybeans. 
We are going to the restaurant. All right, we can do that. Must be a bunch of uh, vegetarians around here to want that many soybeans. Well, maybe not around here, at least coming in on the boat. Twelve with the environmental bonus. Let's go over here and see what Norm's got. What is going on, Norm? How you living? Ah, first off, what's for sale? Nothing I need. All right. So we are looking for corn headers. And there is a small one. That one might work for it, but I think this is the one. I'm not going to buy it until we get uh, ready to harvest. But I think that may be the one I have to get. I hope it's not that one because that's not the price I remembered. I always find it interesting when you find modified things for sale that are the exact same as the original. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's this one. So, But I'll look into it and make sure. One thing I do know is we have trailer money too. One thing is I'm going to buy it without the extension um, to make sure our harvester, being a smaller harvester, can reach it. And if it looks like there's still plenty of room, I can order this and add the extension later. So I think our truck will hook up to the, uh, to the hitch. So let's go ahead and get that. All right. Brand new trailer. Appreciate it, Norm. That still leaves us 14000 for the uh, corn header. Excellent, excellent. So next month when we uh, sell the oats to Braden, I'm going to pay off the rest of the loan, be completely done with that. Oh, yeah, it'll definitely be able to reach over that because it's not much taller than the truck. Pay off the rest of the loan, and then I'm going to try to get the uh, the windmill for making flour and oils. So I am going to keep this canola, and uh, we'll see what we got left. I know that's a massive field. I'm not 100% sure what the yield is going to be like, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll see what we can do. I said the homestead's getting getting just about where I need it and with that being said we're probably going to take the uh, homestead down to one day a week on videos because with this uh, new city skylines 2 about to come out it's got me itching to play city skylines again so I think we're gonna revisit city skylines 1 for a little bit and we'll uh, play around with that before City Skylines 2 comes out for a while, so we'll we'll make one of the videos a week City Skylines. We'll have one here, and then we'll have one over at Corpy. So that's the future plan for the channel. But I will see you in July. Alright, I can see from here that the canola is ready. I can't really tell from here about the oats, but we're going to do the canola first anyway. So let me get my trailers. And if the weight is too much for this truck, then I can put the trailer on the tractor. 
But I just really mainly want to see if uh, if the harvester can even reach it with the extension on it. So let's pull this old cloth back out. Then we got to harvest this. Next time we'll harvest the oats and start getting the fields ready for drilling again. This thing is loud. Probably gonna have to run up to the store after this year's harvest and uh, get a barrel of diesel for this thing. I'd hate to have to drive it all the way up there at 13 miles an hour. It's not undoable, just rough. All right, well, let's get in here and get this knocked out. See what kind of yield we get. It ain't looking great, but there is a clay soil right here, I believe. So it'll get better around the edges. But let's go ahead and get started on time lapse, and uh, I think once we get a full tank, I'll probably pause the time lapse for a second so we can take a look and see if we think we can fit the extensions but uh let's get into it too far away from the truck I want to test the uh, the fit here but I do think we're gonna clear it pretty easily yeah I don't I don't know if it's gonna fit with those extensions on it though What we can do for carding though is get the extensions and uh, we can definitely fill from the silo with the extension zone so we can use this for carting to and from the silo and then just fill it up at the silo. Alright, I like the fact that they put these uh, the cutters come on when it notices you're, you're in a uh, canola. That's something they had to cut the plants apart so they don't get stuck. I like it when they put the realistic animation stuff in there. That's nice. Look how tall the sunflowers are getting. They're getting little yellow heads on them too. Yeah, there they go. A big yellow eyeball. All right, let's get back in it.
right, well that was just about a full morning's work right there. But the old old cloth dominator here handled it. Only thing I'm not sure about is whether this truck's gonna be able to handle the weight. I've already got the trailer full and I've got a good bit in the back of the truck bed already. It is looking a little light on the front though. That's a lot of weight on that poor little old truck. back over here to the yard. Look at that, you can see where all the dust from the grain coming out of this flap has got on the back of the windshield right there. Dirt's really building up right there. Or the dust, I guess. I'm gonna leave this right here for right now. I'll put that away later. I want to see what our grand total was, especially now that we can uh, get the entire grand total in one load. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put that trailer on the tractor. Look how far it's tilted forward. Well, let's see if it can pull it just around the. Around the homestead farm here might not be too bad. But we almost got 20,000 liters. That's kind of my goal. But there's not great great yield on this field. But hey, 19,387. Not bad. Not bad at all. We'll turn the majority of that into canola oil. But I can definitely use it to stop buying oil from a store for cooking let's get this dumped and we'll get this dumped in here too Got a pretty quick dump on it right there. I like that. I know I'm going to need this with the oats, so for now I'm just going to plop it right here. Got a full pallet of eggs. Let's check on the animals right quick before we call it a day. Chickens are okay. Could use a little top up. We got a thousand liters of milk. We definitely have to sell that next uh, tomorrow because we don't want it sitting in there too long. And oh, okay, it looks like he's bought a uh, well, not bought, but brought in a lot more horses. And they could take a little bit of oats to kind of even it out between base food and hay. Well, same man, same man's worth forty eight hundred. There's he said these prices are just for basic horses that the uh, the computer just adds up itself. He says some of these horses are worth tons of money. But he wouldn't tell me how much. <laughs> so yeah, I think, uh, I think tomorrow when we come back, we'll top up the chicken feed. Eventually, we're going to have to look into getting a uh, TMR mixer for the cows. No, nope, of course, there wouldn't be one on sale. But yeah, I think that's where we're going to leave it today. That was a big field that we harvested over there. Got the straw done. Got the new trailer in. I really like this trailer. It's, I think that's a good buy for us. But I appreciate y'all tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you all have a good day. Thanks for watching.